The government of Kenya has secured a 2.34 US billion dollar loan and equivalent of 225.9 billion shillings from the International Monetary Fund, National Treasury and Planning Cabinet Secretary Okuri Atani says the loan is a government initiative to facilitate a 38-month program targeted at supporting Kenya's economic recovery and stability. Yatani also acknowledged the need for adequate resources to manage uncertainties over the evolving nature of COVID-19 pandemic and unsteadiness surrounding supply of vaccines. In the next few days, Kenya is scheduled to receive a total of 33.7 billion shillings and subsequently another 44.2 billion shillings by June 30th, 2021. The funds are part of the 225.9 billion Kenya shillings approved loan from the International Monetary Fund that is spread out over three years. Amid the current public outcry over the rising cost of living and public wage bill, the government says the external funding is necessary. In a statement to newsrooms, Ministry of National Treasury and Planning Cabinet Secretary Ukuri Yatani termed the move as a government initiative that will facilitate a 38-month economic recovery plan. Four key areas will be covered in the program, namely scaling up the COVID-19 response in the immediate term targeting the health sector and others most impacted by the pandemic, reducing debt vulnerabilities by pursuing a revenue-driven fiscal consolidation plan in order to stabilize the debt to GDP ratio and ultimately set it on a downward path. Structural and governance reforms while addressing weaknesses in state-owned enterprises with a view to enhancing efficiency in the management for economic and fiscal affairs. And finally, implementing specific measures to strengthen the monetary policy framework and support fiscal stability. The National Treasury further saying additional resource mobilization will be required to sustain interventions such as tax relief measures, additional public spending on health and targeted social programs programs. After the second disbursement by end of June this year, the balance will be released following reviews of every six months. Kamchemenza for Channel 1 News.